Hello, in last video I make a carriage stopper for my lathe, but it's quite useless until I don't have a spindle stopper, so let's make one in that video. Spindle stopper is a piece we fix inside of spindle which limit the turning part how deep it can clamp into chuck, and it's very common in serial production. There are many types of spindle blocker, here we can see the most common one. We put spindle blocker into spindle bore from backside and tie it on position with a special tool, so it extend in the middle and hold the position. And that's it, blocker now limit the deep of parts, so every working piece will be clamped at the same position. But my lathe is a bit small to make that kind of blocker, since it only got 26mm spindle bore. So I just try to fix that 10mm treated trot into spindle somehow. I thinking to make some part from backside with a treat for the rod, but after some measurements I figure it out that the end of spindle is just roughly turned, so runouts are quite big. But then find out that the edge of spindle got almost zero runout and also notice some extra treat on the spindle for bearing nut, so I decided to make a piece which will be screwed on a spindle treat and tighten on the spindle edge. On a bearing nut is already marked treat info, so I just need to make some other measurements and then make a bit better sketch. If you still don't know what I plan to do, here's a bit better sketch. Ok, let's go to work now. I'll make it out of aluminium, because it's easier to machine and should do the job just ok. Plus I got a piece of just right dimension, so firstly face it and then turn to the diameter. Now I drill it and bore to a proper dimension. Don't ask me why I didn't use a bigger drill, cause I don't know either. Now I need to do about 10mm of treat from the end, and when I checked the mechanic book for dimension, there was a note for that treat, that should be used for bearing nut only. Anyway, the dimension I need to make the treat is 33.38mm. Pretty close. Now do some calculation on how deep I need to cut treat. Prepare treat cutting tool and of course set feet to proper pitch. In my case it's 1.5 mm per round. Done. I'll cut some chamfers, then drill a hole, cut chamfer and cut M10 treat for the rod. Stopper nut is almost done, so I can part it from the bar and finish on the other side.
and that's the moment I can try for the first time if it fit on. When making some special treats there is always a ta-da moment, but if not fit there are some special language words. Look like the piece fit nicely, but when I try to run the lathe there are some visible run out, but there can be some dirt and I only tie it with hand. Now I need to do some more turning and chamfering from backside, and then prepare dividing table to make hex for the wrench, so I can tie it as it should be. I just make another small treat from the side, for blocking screw, which will prevent for the part to unscrew itself. Don't worry, that screw is a non-treated area. Nut or whatever this is is finished, so I can prepare the rod. It's already good length, about 40cm, so all I need to do is face in both ends, cut some treat away and of course cut chamfer. When I screw on again and tie it with a wrench this time, so the nuts sit on the edge of spindle, it run almost perfect. Gently tie the side screw and then install the treated rod. From backside I add another nut to prevent unscrewing. I was thinking that the job is done here, but expecting that 40cm long rod will run in center was a mistake. It survived also maximum 2000 rpm, but looks dangerous and also lose precision here. So I spend a few more minutes to design that part which I 3D print out of TPU. Inner hole is a bit smaller than screw, so I need to attach it on with some force. And also outer diameter is a bit bigger, so it nicely fit into spindle bore. Much better. Now let's make a test. I insert a piece into chuck up to the stopper and apron to its stopper, then try to face two pieces. When I measure them, Mitte Toyo shows the exact same length 118.00, and that's what I want. When spindle stopper isn't in use, it only takes a few seconds to remove them. That's about it for today. Another very useful tool was done in a Sunday afternoon. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.